Okay, hey, so uh, this is a shootout between the um, the Marshall DSL 401 and the uh, the Marshall MG30 DFX. Here we go. <laughs> So I'm running out of battery. I'll try and make this quick. The differences between these amps is uh, the DSL 401 sounds more classic. It sounds a lot smoother. It seems to smooth the square waves or whatever, you know, like. The MG30 DFX seems harsher, is all I'm saying. And it's brighter, but don't let that put you off of the MG30 DFX, because it sounds great. It only sounds 
harsh in comparison to the DSL-401, which is a very smooth amplifier, in my opinion, for the distortion side. And um, the DS or the MG-30 has more gain. So it's a bit of a trade-off. The uh, You can find used DSL-401s for like 500 and you can find, I found my uh, MG-30 DFX for about 110 so, um, you know, you really can't go wrong with either one. I like solid state. I like tube. There is, you know, I, I believe in the tube legend, you know, I believe tube amps are fantastic and you sh if you can afford one, you should have at least one, you know, to run pedals into pedals sound better through tube amps, but I'm not at all bummed out when all I got is a solid state Marshall MG or something like that. That doesn't bum me out at all. In fact, most of the time that's what I play through. And as I said in all the other videos that compare these amps, um, uh, I feel like I'm doing something good for myself when I use a solid state amp because I'm not wearing out tubes. Sounds silly, but that's the way I feel. Um, I prefer the DSL-401, just a little preference. It's got the 12-inch speaker, the, the 30DFX has the 10-inch speaker, but the cost, everything, they're both great amps for what they are. When you buy a 10-inch amp, 10-inch solid-state amp, you know that you're not getting a tube fucking with a 12 inch 12 inch speakers generally sound better for a guitar i don't i don't know why and i hate to perpetuate something that 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 is common right like i would i would love to say 10 inch speakers are superior for guitars i would love to say that but i can't say that because it's not necessarily true it doesn't make sense to me why a 12 inch speaker is so superior but they really are so so much for keeping it short catch you later